Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. And what we want to do here is simplify this problem. We have 3 times the square root of 12 times the square root of 6. <clears throat> well, one of the joys of having square roots here, at least, when we're trying to simplify, is that we can combine, if we have the square root of 12 times the square root of 6, we can combine those together under one square root. So we have 3 times the square root of and 12 times 6. Now what I'm going to do here is I do want to fact, uh, break this down. Um, do prime factorization on this. Well, uh, you can multiply 12 times 6 and, and then break that down, but 12 times 6 is already kind of broken down some, so let's go break down each one. All right, 6 is uh, 2 times 3, and 12 is 4 times 3. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So 12 times 6, whatever that number came out to be, is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So now we can circle a pair. So we have a pair of 2s here and a pair of 3s here. Okay? A pair of 3s. Uh, so if we, if we simplify that, we can pull out a pair of 2s and a pair of 3s on the outside. So there's a 3 that's already out there. Then we have another... 2 and then a 3 right there. Then what's left on the inside is just a 2. Okay, that one lone 2 that's just sitting there. So now we can simplify here. 3 times uh, 2 times 3. Well, 3 times uh, 2 is 6 times 3 is 18. So we have 18 here times the square root of 2. And that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 3 times the square root of 12 times the square root of 6. Well, I can, since they're both square roots that are being multiplied, I can combine them together under one big square root. Then we broke them down, 12 to be 2 times 2 times 3, and 6 to be 2 times 3. We circled our pairs. Pairs are represented by a single outside the square root. And there's a, uh, so we have 2 out here and a 3 out there, and this 3 just came down. And then this 2 that was just by itself stays on the inside of the square root. We simplified there and got our final answer to be 18 times the square root of 2.